Hey, how's it going? My name is Gabby. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm gonna be doing another book shopping vlog with my mom. <laughs> if you missed the very first episode that I did of this, we ended up going to Oak Harbor and La Conner in Washington and we found some local bookstores there and it was a really, really fun vlog. So I'll link it down below if you missed the first one. But this is going to be round two and we're gonna be going to Seattle and we're gonna be going to Pike Place Market, which I'm very excited about because I've been living in Washington for about six years now and I've still, never visited Pike Place Market even though it's kind of like a really cool like touristy spot in like downtown Seattle and I'm really excited about it because they have a bunch of little cute like used bookstores within down there and I have a list of about five to six bookstores that I would like to visit today. They're all either within Pike Place or like right around that area, like a five to 10 minute drive around that area. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. I'm super excited <laughs> and my mom is super excited. My mom has been to Pike Place, but I have not. And they also have a bunch of other cool stuff in Pike Place, like the very first Starbucks ever to exist is down there in like the Pike Place area because Washington actually had the first Starbucks. And so yeah, I'm just excited to see a bunch of different things today and and also to answer your questions from the last vlog that I did like this with my mom, a lot of people were asking like, oh, what did your mom get and all that kind of stuff. But my mom usually doesn't get her own books when we do these like book shopping days. Like she just really enjoys browsing and like looking around and just kind of shopping in general is like one of her hobbies. So she doesn't usually get any books, but if she does, of course I will let you know. <laughs> I am so excited to go to Seattle. It's been a while since I've gone to Seattle. It's been well over a year since before the pandemic, so I'm really excited to go back. Oh. Hello. Hey. Morning. Morning, beautiful. How are you? Mm -hmm. We are on our way mm -hmm. to Seattle. It's actually really nice out today. <laughs> 76. Yeah, it's 76. It's been like, okay, the last like two days or so have been like ridiculously hot, like to the point where it's just been pretty miserable. Humid. But today it's looking pretty nice so far and Seattle's actually a little bit cooler than where we're currently at, apparently. It's so, on the water. Yeah, it's on the water, so that is exciting. And my mom brought a bunch of these cute little, uh, what would you call these, brochures? <laughs> um, for the area so we can like look into doing some cool stuff so that one that's that building it's like you, you it's the tallest building outside of the um the space needle that one looks really interesting yeah that is really cool like top top of that rock or whatever sky view yeah that sounds so scary did you know that they filmed um oh god now i can't remember that <laughs> you've got mail Oh, one. Sleepless in Seattle? Yeah, Sleepless in Seattle with um, uh, Tom Hanks. Well, they, he lived on the houseboat or whatever. Yeah. I think that's one. It was filmed there, and they have actual houseboats all lined up. It's so beautiful. It's underneath Stand. the bridge, yeah. I don't know what we'll be able to see today, but... <laughs> that's cool. Yeah, I'm excited to check that out. California, huh? Oh, no. The <laughs> weather and the freeway. I know, this is feeling mm. very familiar. Mm. Bathrooms are so cute. Like, look at these mirrors. This brick wall. We got the got the look. <laughs> Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
my boots.
have done Pike Place. And that was kind of a struggle trying to find some of these bookstores <laughs> because, um, well, the first bookstore that we went to was, what was it called? It's not, it's on there. Oh yeah, it's not. The first bookstore we went to was Lamplight Books. It's so cute. And it was so cute. It was like literally tucked back in the very back of like where all this food was. So it was kind of like unexpected. In like the pipe, where it in would the pipe be. market. Yeah, like it was really Probably cool the where it was back there. But there I got my sister, The Serial Killer, which this is a young adult thriller that I've heard some really great things about. So I'm really glad that I found this one there. And then I also found Reconstructing Amelia by Kimberly McCrate. And this is a thriller that I've heard really good things about. And I love Kimberly McCrate. I read A Good Marriage and I really love that book by her. So uh, really excited that I found this one. And then we were trying to go to this bookstore called Globe bookstore I think that's what it was called and we walked 15 minutes all the way down yeah. first street or whatever and we couldn't find it we asked we asked the coffee shop guys and they said yeah. you're the third person I know, that, we, yeah. and we still don't know where yeah we went into a coffee shop that was like literally right next to it on the map and I was like I just asked the dude I was like do you know where this is like I can't find it and he's like he's like you're the third people to have asked us this like we don't know what that is like we've never heard of it and we were like oh cool so we couldn't find it but and then yeah but as we were walking back through pike place we went like downstairs into like a random area and then we did actually find this like random bookstore in there that i couldn't even find on the map so like it's I don't it know might what have been that, that one no that was so far no but i mean they moved maybe i don't to know to get more you know because pike market has so many people going through it it was beautiful yeah. it was crowded but life yeah, is getting really back crowded and, and everybody's enjoying the beautiful beautiful hot day it's 84 down below here in the parking spot yeah and we're shaded thank god uh, it's pretty warm it was beautiful yeah it was really nice um now we're gonna try to find <laughs> this other bookstore the elliott bay book company hopefully they have better parking over there because parking is stressful in seattle well if you can't i'll let you out and i'll zoom around and let you <laughs> do your thing it's oh not about goodness. me I can't believe it's 84 in the shade. It's warm. Wow. It's humid. Yeah. But it's a nice day out. But it's really pretty. You can see all the islands and Mount Rainier. Mm -hmm. I mean, on the other side of the, the um, what is it called? The key? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's close. Yeah. I put gum on the gun wall. Yeah, I got the gum wall. That was Isn't cool. that fun? Yeah, it felt very unsanitary, but, you know, you got to do it. Yeah. <laughs> That's what hand sanitizer is for. You're welcome. Yes. <laughs> hand sanitize it up. What would we do without bath and body works? I always feel when I forget I have it on and I'm out shopping and stuff, and then I go, Mmm, that smells such a beautiful perfume. <laughs> oh, wait a second. That's it's my hand good. sanitizer. Ready? It's so good. Ready. For the mm. next round.
Look at the rainbow streets. So cute. <laughs> yeah, I'm all throughout. And this building looks like the Flatiron Building in New York. <laughs> Look at this building so next to it. It's so modern. So I just left the bookstore and we're on the freeway, so I'm sorry if there's like noise. Yeah, Elliott Bay Bookstore is one of the nicest bookstores I've ever been in. Like, oh my gosh, I could have spent so much money at that bookstore. Um, and they all had like, it was pretty much all just like new books. Um, there wasn't a lot of like anything used in there, but it was like massive inside that bookstore and just so beautiful. Yeah, so the first book that I got is Hang the Moon by a Alexandria Bellafleur, and I'm really excited about this one because this is a romance book that is like the sequel to Written in the Stars, and I'm really excited because in this book we follow Darcy's brother, I'm pretty sure, it's who we're following in this book, and it's like, it just looks like a super cute romance. And then I also finally got Horror Store. There's a 20 minute slowdown in two miles. <laughs> oh, you are shit. still on the fastest route. No. Okay, just so you know. <laughs> yeah, I guess we're stuck in traffic for an extra 20 minutes, but um, but yeah, I finally got Horror, Horror Store by Grady Hendrix. Um, I've been recommended this book like over and over again for years, and I just, I finally decided to get it, and I don't know, I'm thinking maybe I'll read this during Summerween. I feel like it would be perfect to read for Summerween because it's kind of like, it's like half pictures or like illustrations and half like written text and stuff, so I'm really excited about this. This one looks like it's like kind of like a haunted Ikea. Like, that's the vibe I'm getting. It's like a haunted store. Yeah, I'm just, I'm really excited about these. Hello, it is much later in the night, but I just wanted to give a quick recap of the day because I'm sorry if some of the footage was really bad towards the end of the day, but I didn't realize until I got home that my camera switched from autofocus into manual focus, and so some of those last clips were probably out of focus, and I apologize for that. I'm still learning on this new camera. I, I'm still learning how to use it. But anyways, uh, me and my mom had a really great day in Seattle. The drive home took like two and a half hours we left at like four o'clock and we didn't get home until like 6 30 because we hit some traffic and i always forget how bad the seattle traffic can get in that area so that was unfortunate but it was fine because my mom is good company anyways um i was able to get four books today which is really exciting i actually already started reading hang the moon since i got home because I just felt really in the mood for a romance novel tonight and also I didn't realize that I bought a book that takes place in Seattle in Seattle so like that's pretty cool but seriously wow that last bookstore we went to the Elliott Bay Book Company like that is one of the most beautiful bookstores I've ever seen in my life like it was so spacious and just the, like the aesthetic of the whole place was so beautiful and they had some really great selections the amount of horror books they had in the horror book selection area was huge and I'm so glad that I found a copy of horror store in there I actually struggled to pick which book I wanted to get because there were so many different books that I wanted Wanted to get there they also had a really huge sci-fi and fantasy area like it took up a whole back wall and it was just really cool and i don't know i just had a really great time at that bookstore and it doesn't look like if you see it on the street it doesn't look like it would be as big as it ended up being on the inside i was just super impressed and i'm also super excited about these used book picks that i got um and these weren't too expensive either these were both like eight or nine dollars each so pretty excited to read these yeah this was another very fun and successful you know getting books and going book shopping with my mom i do think that the elliott bay bookstore is my favorite of all of the bookstores that i've seen with doing this experiment so far so thank you so much to anybody who recommended that i go to that bookstore i loved it and i think i was a little too ambitious this morning with my like five to six bookstores but it was also very frustrating because there were two bookstores that we tried to find today that we couldn't find and it just seemed like they didn't exist or something and then also one of the bookstores that I was expecting to go to today ended up being closed on Tuesdays so that was kind of unexpected and 
I really wanted to go to that bookstore too, but uh, But I think um, I'm still really happy with the fact that we were able to go to three bookstores and just kind of explore Pike Place because I've never been there before. Despite it being a little bit claustrophobic and like there's a lot of people there, you know, and it was a little bit intense because of that, I do think it's a really cool spot and I can see why it's like a huge like touristy area in Seattle because I think there's a lot to do there and being that close like on the water, there's just like so much to see and the gum wall was also really fun and unique. Yeah, I had a really great day. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me and my mom. And of course, if there's any other bookstores in Washington that you would highly recommend that I visit or that you think is really cool, please leave them uh, down below because I do have a whole list of all the bookstores that I would like to visit in Washington like this summer or this year. And I'm just like making my way through that list and I have a lot of fun you know, going out and exploring and doing these kind of videos. And also let me know if you've read any of these four books that I got today, what your thoughts are on any of these books, and if you think I would really enjoy any of these books. And yeah, my mom did not end up getting anything today, but I did loan her Malibu Rising and Home Before Dark to read from my bookshelves, so hopefully she will read those and enjoy those soon. Thank you guys so much for watching as always, and I will see you very soon with another video. Bye.